A month ago, East Mojo in its decoded episode 10 had called N. Biren Singh Bahubali Biren and had predicted that the Manipur BJP's leadership was firmly in control of the footballer-turned-journalist-turned-politician. Congress leaders were joining BJP en masse, the opposition or whatever was left of it was divided and this is Manipur after all. Who said you need a majority to form a government? Well, if only we had the power of hindsight. I am Rifa Deka and in today's episode of Decoded, we look at why the BJP's vote may not be all that stable and there is a chance that come March 10, the lotus may not bloom in Manipur. The BJP since 2017 had made it almost a habit to chip at the Congress and its leaders, so much so that as many as 12 of its MLAs joined the Safran party. Perhaps the best example was Govindas Kanthaujam, who rose to be the Congress president and then did something almost expected of him, join the BJP. And Biren Singh continued to grow in popularity, PM Modi was a fan and the media-savvy leader was everyone's favourite. Then came the day BJP announced its candidate list. Manipur political leaders are not known for sticking to party ideology, so many expected disgruntled voices emerging in the wake of the candidature list. Instead, we witnessed riot-like situation with leaders, workers hitting the street and vandalizing both public and private property. In perhaps the most damning incident, some angry supporters in Leelong slaughtered a cow, making sure the poor bovine's head was resting on a BJP flag. If this does not qualify as sedition for a BJP worker, I do not know what does. Many thought this was a temporary move, but this seems to have just been the start. The disgruntled BJP leaders made a beeline for literally any and every party that could have them. The JDU, the NPP and in a cruel turn of fate, even the Congress welcomed them with open arms like Jaya Bachchan welcoming Shah Rukh Khan and Ketri ji. For the opposition, this was a shot in the arm and gave them some newfound hope that the BJP was after all vulnerable. Maybe one is reading too much into it, but it would be safe to say that the BJP could have done without the noise. But this was nothing compared to what Chongtham Bijoy Singh, the most senior BJP leader in Manipur, had to say. Remember, in a state where leaders change parties faster than a magician performing magic tricks, Singh had been a member since the 90s. The 90s! And yet, as East Mojo's coverage showed, following his expulsion, the leader minced no words at all. I strongly objected against this uh, present official BJP candidate because he is a very bad uh, past reputation of corruption and uh, uh, reputation holding large amount of black money that I could not or say just swallow it down. Yep, that was a 30-year veteran speaking about his former party. Sure, one may say he is bitter. But for someone who gave his life to a party and its ideology, saying such things can never be a good sign. The National People's Party is a curious, unique cocktail of regional politics. Its president is Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma, but the party clearly has aims for across the Northeast. Not happy with the four seats it won in the 2017 elections, the NPP is done playing second fiddle to the BJP and this time the party is contesting 38 seats. Now of course they will not win 38 seats. They won't, right? But clearly this is a sign that the party is aiming high. Now, whether they soar high or fall flat on their face as an ally of the BJP, they will only hurt the Saffron Party's chances. In fact, the deputy CM has even said on record that Biren Singh government could have done better. Talk about trolling your own government.
Sure, there is the Congress, but even former Chief Minister of Manipur Okrami Bobi Singh predicts the party will not cross the 30 seats needed to form the government on its own. So, we are focusing on the other parties. The NPF is now contesting on 10 seats in the Hill District, while the JDU is contesting on 38 seats too. Should either of these parties perform well, there is a good chance they and not the NPP get to be the kingmakers. This, however, could only be good news for the BJP. The JDU is a loyal ally and so is the NPF. But loyalties in politics are as reliable as a perforated umbrella on a rainy day. Will the BJP come to power? Maybe. But boy, it sure looked a lot more rosy a month ago. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.